I'm David Hartzell, I'm President and CEO of Mac Defense. Mac Defense is a separate business subsidiary of Mac Trucks Incorporated, the famous you know, commercial truck manufacturer as the, the bulldog as our corporate symbol. Mac Defense was created specifically to go after uh, military type contracts and in 2018 was awarded uh, this contract with the U.S. Army to provide the M917A3. It's the third generation of the heavy dump truck for the U.S. Army. We're actually now in the second production year of those 300 vehicles. Uh, we've produced uh, about 210 of those vehicles so far. About 144 of those vehicles have been delivered. Uh, ultimately, there's going to be 67 locations that will receive this new uh, M917A3. All the vehicles that have been uh, procured so far are all the non-armored variants. Uh, there is also a, a fully armored version of this vehicle. Um, our armor solution is, is basically you take the commercial cab off the vehicle and you replace it with a fully up-armored, uh, purpose-built armored cab to meet the Army's uh, force protection requirements. Uh, some of the other significant features, this vehicle is built off of our Mack Granite uh, commercial vocational uh, truck that we produce in excess of 10,000 of a year. Uh, this truck, to meet the U.S. military requirements, uh, has things like cark paint. You see the, ar the green Army cark paint on this vehicle here. Uh, they can also order it in tan, so that chemical agent resistant coating paint is a special military requirement. That's one of the differentiators. Um, on the front of the vehicle here, you can see some of the special lift and tie down provisions uh, that the Army requires. That's a mill standard, uh, so they can lift the vehicles and for transportability or put them on a, a, a C5 or C17 air transport. Uh, that's another unique requirement. So if you see the front vehicle here, you see this tire and wheel. And then if you go to the rear, you can see the same tire and wheel equipment here. The reason for that is they wanted one spare wheel and tire to be uh, delivered with each vehicle. So if you have a flat, uh, they have a spare for any wheel station. If you compare it to our standard commercial Mack granite chassis, about 80% of the parts of this vehicle are shared with our commercial product. 20% uh, of the parts make it a specific M917A3. Uh, one of the things, Mack is one of the, the leaders in vocational uh, vehicles and products. Our Mack Granite chassis is one of the industry leaders in terms of its capability in any type of construction vocational application. It's a militarized dump truck, but it's based off our, our Granite chassis in which we produce in well in excess of 10,000 vehicles a year and put them into all types of vocational applications. So by being able to take that standard commercial chassis, which we build in large volumes and use it in every type of heavy vehicle application, we're very easily able to adapt a, a 27 ton dump body capability on this truck for the U.S. military. Uh, the truck that this is replacing was a 20 ton dump truck. This is a 27 ton dump truck. Uh, this is an eight by eight chassis configuration. The previous vehicles were six by six. This allowed the Army to have increased payload, but then also account for the up armor capability. Uh, the main mission of the dump truck is any type of engineering unit capability uh, that the Army is going to go after. So whether it's you know, creating encampments, uh, whether it's building runways, um, any of that, anything where you're going to move aggregate or move earth, the, obviously this, this dump truck comes into play. So the dump body controller is equipped with an inclinometer. It measures the angle of the vehicle, so it will prevent the dump body from going up if you're on too much of a side slope for safety reasons. This also um, controls the dump body up and down, controls the tarp that goes across the dump body to prevent gravel from falling out while you're driving down the road. So it's a standard Mack truck capable of going down the highway. The government actually restricts it to 60 miles an hour. A 100 gallon tank, so 400 miles. Uh, so that's what's pre-programmed as the limits in the vehicle. So this is a copy. This is the exact c conventional Mack truck that you would see driving down the road. This is the standard production release. Uh, all the switches here, you have special switches for all-wheel drive and other things that this vehicle is equipped with. Otherwise, there's blackout switches, uh, infrared switches for the work lights that are on the back of the dump body also.